Hi Aquarius, welcome to your May bonus reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Aquarius, in this bonus reading, my intentions for these uh, readings is to maybe give you some messages that may resonate for you. Maybe if things didn't resonate for you in your monthly readings, something here will. So we will take a look into love, life, advice and guidance for you from the uh, Guardian Angel deck. And then we'll get into the tarot and we will clarify all your energies for your bonus reading. So this is intended for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female. Um, it could be past, present or future. So please only take the energies as they resonate for you. If it's not fitting for you, then they're probably not your messages. Please don't try to make them fit. This is a general collective reading, not a uh, private reading. But if you would like a private reading, all that information is down below in the um, description box as well as a lot of other information, so please feel free to check it out. If you're new, feel free to check out my channel, like what you see, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. You get about four to five readings a month. And um, I do more than just love readings. I do uh, a love connection reading for someone you have a connection with. I do a singles reading, love reading. I do a general reading, which we take whatever comes out. I do uh, messages from your spirit guides, and I do these bonus readings. So there's a little bit of everything for everyone. And if you do subscribe, hit the bell, and um, thank you, and welcome to the family. So I'm Aquarius. Hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So let's see what's going on in the bonus reading for the Aquarius Collective. Sun, Moon, Linus, Sun, Moon, Linus. <laughs> Rising in Venus and Jupiter. Oi. It's about quarter of 11 at night, so Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female for the general collective. What's going on in love? I'm going to pull from the oracles first, and then I'll get into the tarot. So let's see. This is a new deck for me. This is The Power of Love by James Van Prague. And I have a new camera, so if I seem a little awkward at holding the um, cards up, that's why. I used to use my phone. But now I have a real camera, camcorder, so getting a little used of the lens, the angle. So just bear with me. Hopefully the uh, sound is better. Okay, Aquarius. What is going on in the life of Aquarius? So I'm not going to uh, get into really any signs with this. These are going to be quick, direct, clear to the point little readings. Either you resonate or you don't. So let's see. The life of Aquarius spirit, please. Okay, that one. Bottom of the deck. Let's get your advice, guidance from the Guardian Angel deck. Guardian Angel deck. I don't know, don't know if I showed you, but I don't see many people using this deck, but it's a cute little um, oracle deck. Decks are listed below. Also, if you're interested in the decks I'm using... So what is the advice, guidance for this bonus for Aquarius, please? Thank you so much. What is the advice, guidance for Aquarius? Aquarius, thank you so much. Okay, like that one in the bottom of the deck. All right, let's see what we have in love. We have creativity. You love to devise new ideas, innovations, and forms of illumination. And we have willingness. You are able to compromise if the end result is love. I got these two cards for... I forgot. Um, they, came out, they came out together for another sign. I think it, it might have been Taurus. It was either... Um, Pisces or Taurus, I don't remember, but if you're dealing with one of those signs, um, I think it was Pisces, actually. All right, so let's see what we have for life. We have the Five of Winter. Walk away from dishonest associations, realizing that what you thought what you wanted isn't the best choice for your happiness, something that's not worth the effort. So five of uh, winter energy. Yeah, that can be an energy of, you know, trying to get ahead at all costs, despite, you know, of others um, or somebody around you in this energy. You know, 
should I lay down and just quit or should I keep fighting on? Um, is this a losing battle kind of energy? So let's see what came out with it. Wow, now we got the four of winter. Set aside your concerns for now. You can make a decision later. Solutions that come from meditation, the need for more sleep or a vacation. So we've got the four and five of swords. So the four of swords is about, you know, taking a break, taking a respite, or uh, rest, rejuvenation, recuperation, retreating, spending time alone, thinking, contemplating, healing. So there may be a situation here where it may be a losing battle where you may just need to withdraw your energy and just uh, retreat. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm getting. So we'll see how that plays out. So let's see what your advice is. So we have Archangel Gabriel coming right out here. So that may be an angel you may want to uh, research on, maybe do some work with. And we have self-belief here, which is Archangel Michael. So we have Michael and Gabriel, and Michael is about um, truth, clarity, communication, protection, justice. And let's see what Archangel Gabriel is about. Um, let's see if I can bring him up here. Clarity, insight, creativity, and wisdom. So, you may be, uh, if you're having a little self-doubt or self-value, self-worth, trouble in that area, you know, maybe Archangel uh, Gabriel can help you. Um, lift up your spirits, you know, bring peace and harmony kind of energy. All right, so let's see what this creativity and willingness is about for you Aquarius and love this bonus reading. Let's see what that is about for the Aquarius Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, or Jupiter too. All right. What is this creativity and willingness about for Aquarius? So we have the chariot. So positive movement forward, some way, shape, or form. A lot of drive, ambition, balance. Ooh, we got the hanged man and the moon. So, so I feel like there's a willingness to drive a relationship forward, yet we're a little unsure, a little uncertain. There's some fear, uh, not sure, you know, of the path, can't see it clearly. The moon can also talk about cycles. Um, Secrets coming to light, very deep feelings and emotions. But the hangman is about, you know, taking a break, you know, thinking, contemplating, reflecting. So maybe, you know, and the moon can be about reflection too, because uh, the moon can reflect. So let's see. What else here? Knight of Swords. So somebody might have rushed in here wanting to drive something forward very quickly. <laughs> All right, so what else here? Ace of Cups, yeah. Somebody rushing in with a big old cup of love. Brand new beginning in love, love and emotions overflowing, and I did have the moon there, which can be, be about very deep feelings. So I feel like somebody, especially with the knight and the chariot, somebody wants to really drive this forward uh, very quickly. There's a lot of deep feelings, emotions. But somebody here uh, needs to think about it first. Here. Maybe, um, so you do have creativity here. You have, you have to, you love to devise new ideas, innovations, and forms of illumination. So the moon can be about illumination. So this person could have definitely, you know, revealed, you know, illumination, revealing how they truly felt. But will you compromise? <laughs> will you compromise? You know, will you accept this cup of love from this person? They could have been very creative about how they approached you also. But are you willing to accept their cup of love? Uh, maybe not. Five of Cups. Five of Cups here. So I think somebody's going to try their hardest to uh, approach you and try to woo you or try to... Um, they really want to court you, take you out. Uh, they really want to be with you. They want to be your person. And I don't know, some of you may say no. 
maybe some of you aren't willing to accept this offer for some reason. Only you know why. Maybe you don't feel the same way. Maybe you don't think of that person in that way. Uh, they could have been watching you for a very long time, had these feelings for you, and now they just can't take it anymore. So why is the Five of Cups here? Three of Wands. Waiting. So yeah, I feel like somebody waiting here to approach you. Or it could be vice versa. Yeah. Uh, you're going to break somebody's heart, Aquarius, and, and turn them away. <laughs> yeah, you're going to use your sword, that's your energy, and uh, turn this person away, I feel. So either you're not looking for love or you're not interested in this person in that way. And unfortunately, I see you maybe uh, breaking somebody's heart here or them to you, however that resonates for you. Somebody's not willing to uh, accept some sort of love beginning, new beginning in love. Oh, Aquarius, you're going to give somebody an achy, breaky heart. All right, so let's see what this five of winter and the four of winter is about. So whatever, uh, so whatever you you are doing or fighting for or trying to accomplish, I feel like finally realizing, okay, maybe this is a losing battle. Maybe this isn't worth it. So we have an energy here of just like retreating. Yeah, stressed out, a lot of sword mental energy here. So stressed out about something here. Yeah, death. So it may be a losing battle. So it may be time to give up the fight here with the death energy. Just let it come to a natural end. Here's a big epiphany, aha moment, realization. So realizing, you know, maybe this doesn't, it just isn't worth my effort anymore. Whatever that is for you. It's not worth it anymore. No, it's not worth stressing about anymore. It's a losing battle. So, you know what? I'm just going to retreat, heal myself. Yeah, move on to a better place, something bigger, better, brighter. Something more uh, balanced, balancing, healing, positive energy. Making conscious right choice that's best for you. Lovers doesn't have to be an actual lover. can just be uh, making a choice that is best suited for you and aligned with your soul, your heart. Um, kind of energy also. Or, you know, some of you could be ending it with a lover. Temperance. So here's you finding balance, peace, harmony, uh, being patient here with the energies. So I do see tempering, healing, balance, patient energy, moving on to a better place, making that conscious choice not to put any more effort into something that you feel is a losing battle anyway. Finally realizing that, having the epiphany, and it's not worth stressing over anymore, so just giving it up, letting it end naturally, transcending, transforming, healing, recuperating, and retraining. So it's like losing battle, so it's time to retreat. That's kind of what I'm getting with that. It's not worth the mental struggle anymore, whatever that is for you. All right, so let's see what Archangel Gabriel and self-belief is about for you, Aquarius. Seven of Swords, so sneaking out of a situation or uh, self-deceit or some somebody not in a good energy around you. Page of Swords, so somebody spying, learning something new online, uh, truth, clarity, open, honest communication. Let's see, learning something new online. And I had said that through some research about, um, is that Gabriel? So this could be self-deceit, you know, thinking, you know, you're not worthy, uh, having like self-doubt, low self-esteem or value kind of energy, you know, running from things for a sword. So here's again, same repeating card here about healing, rejuvenating, thinking, contemplating, resting. So a lot of energy here needing to rest, whatever you've been through. You need some resting time. Of course, we're all in quarantine right now, but if you still are working. So do we have uh, the Queen of Cups? So this could be about self-love, value, worth, nurturing yourself, filling your cup. Yeah, nurturing yourself, the Queen of Pentacles. Two queens coming out here. So this is knowing your value, your worth, and we had self-worth here. And, you know, 
Is that Gabriel I set up there? Is about peace, harmony kind of energy. Here's the Queen of Cups. is very loving, caring, nurturing, giving, peaceful, harmonious kind of energy. So it's time to reground yourself, uh, you know, love yourself, fill your cup back up. Healing. High Priestess, so listen to you got your intuition, higher knowing, knowing this is the right thing to do. Uh, high Priestess can be kind of secretive, like kind of keeping to themselves. So the, I think it's a time for you Aquarius to just take time for yourself. A lot of healing, thinking, contemplating, um, grounding yourself, you know, showing yourself some love, building yourself back up. Um, you know, it could be getting some support for friends, family, or, you know, just doing research, working with the Archangels here, Michael and Gabriel, on your journey. I feel like some of you may be turning away love here, I feel. I feel like you're in a place where you just want to, like, rebuild your foundation, you know, the foundation of your soul. Like, you're ready just to rebuild that back up. So whatever you've been through, I feel like it's you time and taking care of you. Yeah, to your happiness, joy, success, victory, enlightenment, healing. Major healing here. Happy home and family. So, taking care of you, I feel Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.